there, we are Claire and Nick Butcher and we've been together for over 20 years. We used to live in Wiltshire in the UK, with Nick having a background in bathroom sales and myself in hospitality and catering. In 2020, we decided to leave the daily grind to start a new life in France. Eventually, we ended up buying this. It's not officially a chateau, even though the village locals call it one. However, it is just as large and equally as much hard work as a chateau. With a horde of original features and the building having been unoccupied for many years, we are slowly breathing life back into her, whilst frequently still finding the many treasures she holds. Join us on our journey with our dogs, Flora and Merlo, as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. Well, bit of a grey day today. Doesn't matter, does it? When you can work next to a beautifully gleaming swimming pool like this. So, Judging by some of the comments, we probably haven't explained ourselves very well yet about how we're going to finish decorating around the pool here. Oh, that's lovely, Merlot. Really? Welcome to the world's biggest dog toilet. Anyway, as I was saying, so we've got the pool, we've got the border. I've been filling it with the limestone cow care in between as I have been doing this side again border, plants, gravel. The gravel is not the finished surface. You are right, it would be uncomfortable coming out of the pool and stepping onto that. So, uh, our plan I'll just put two planks of wood here to illustrate the area at the step end of the pool and over here we're going to have a concrete base and uh, then get some travertine tiles and tile it so you'll be able to step out of the pool onto a nice um, firm surface and that will then leave either side of the pool which I'm on one side and you can see the other there um, on top of this cow care, once I've got it level, I'm going to put some sand and then we have some artificial grass on its way. Um, now artificial because it's a little area, it would be a pain to get a mower in and out of here. I don't even own a lawn mower at the moment. Um, I wanted something fairly maintenance free, uh, but still soft and we got a dozen or so samples of, of artificial grass and, and this one it's quite realistic so I think it'd be nice to, and cool to walk on and soft to walk on be able to put a deck chair on it um, but that's later to come we're not quite there yet uh, at the moment yeah so I put these boards here to, to illustrate where the concrete base is going to be what I'm actually going to do today is probably get those set in at the right height and straight and everything and use those as the formers for the concrete base then I can get the cow care inside that area all level um, because the next thing I want to do is hire a whacker plate for the steps and path for the sheet but also to use around here so um, getting that base compacted nicely before we make up 300 mixes of concrete to fill there that's quite important so um, that's today's job Well, it's not far off and in fact actually I would like a little slope heading off in that direction so water doesn't end up puddling over here for any reason. 
So uh, yeah, quite happy with how that one is sitting. So I've got these pegs, need to just peg them in and uh, get that fixed in position. I think that's looking good. Get this one pegged in then. Right, well, apart from that little bit there, that's the two sides um, set at the right height so that when it's filled with concrete, we can go level across um, and that should be at the right height for then tiling on top of and just be underneath the rim of the pool there so as I say that's the two sides done <clears throat> I need to then now do something to go across there so I've just got bits to make this one up so it's not going to look as neat but uh, it'll do the job Well, there you have it. Um, the formwork is in. Um, yes, yeah, so the next job will be to get more of the cow care, the gravel inside there, and get it a fairly level base. And I can continue putting more on the outside. Um, yeah, looks like I'm going to be doing some wheelbarrowing today. Well, I think that's there. Um, I think that's enough gravel in that area. Um, when we get the whacker plate in, it will help to level it out a bit and uh, I'll notice if I need to put any more in or take any away, but pretty much that is now the base ready for the mix of concrete. That's gonna be fun. Anyway, for today, I've had enough. Well, I've just been out this morning and guess what today is? Now, this will probably only mean something to people of my age from Britain. I don't know. It's Whacker Day! Yeah, but that kind of Whacker. <laughs> Toy time! Hey! <laughs> doing some whacking. Now it says on the top of the machine use ear defenders. We don't have any ear defenders but I'm still gonna <laughs> still
still going to proceed with caution. I have some headphones. <laughs> Hopefully it will also drown out the dulcet tones of my beautiful husband. just had to stop for a sudden rain shower but it's okay because I have revived Paris Fashion Week just for you <laughs> here's things that you don't normally say I'm going to be whacking off in a bin bag in the garden in the rain <laughs> wearing headphones that don't work <laughs> la 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 <laughs> I have just been informed that I have finished whacking or flattening or compacting this area which was a nice thing to start off with you know no previous experience of whacking and uh, yeah now I'm still in my beautiful outfit and I'm about to go and whack off in the backyard in the rear wall garden now by the pool and as you can see I have a lot of whacking to do here it's no small job I'm going to start at the other side and gently work my way round making sure everything is even and correctly whacked torrential downpour she's still going i'm hiding in the greenhouse but look at her look at her go going out for a little while now I'm a bit a bit tingly uh, and, and a little bit damp even though my Paris Fashion Week special is keeping me nice and dry reminds me of the 2022 Paris thing not the 2023 are you sure you're not out of date the bin bag never goes out of fashion <laughs> Thank you. 
After a good few hours of solid whacking, I have completely whacked off the backyard. <laughs> there is a patch which we haven't completed, which is the one near the wall, because we will need some more cow care and we want to get some other things down before we start on that patch. Um, in the meantime, I didn't want to have all of the fun, really. <laughs> so, so to Nick, I'll do, I'll whack off in the front yard and the backyard, but you can whack off the whole of the yard. <laughs> I don't know whether you'll really be able to see, but it's all quite compacted now and it's a lot more flatter and easier to walk on than what it was. Um, using the whacker plate, it's kind of like, um, how would I call it? It's kind of like pushing along gently a really, really heavy vibrating hoover from... We'll take the machine back. Feeling a bit flat. Good morning. I'm out here outside the Jeet again where the other day we were um, compacting this platform and ramps and path and patio area. Um, but today I'm gonna have a go at laying the slabs on that little top area there, not a big area. See how well it goes. seems to be going okay um yeah and there you have it my first attempt at paving um, seems to have gone all right. I think the uh, telling thing will be when it's all finished and when it rains, as long as that water doesn't go in the house, I'll be happy. It shouldn't do unless gravity does something funny, but uh, I'm quite pleased with that. Right, time for a quick coffee and then uh, carry on. Don't want to speak too soon, but it seems to be going okay. Well, I'm quite pleased with my achievements for the day. 
Um, a bit tired, so gonna leave it there. Flora! Flora! This week I've spent some time getting ready for the future onslaught of bugs that will inevitably want to come through this door into the kitchen and go into the kitchen near the food. So, this week I have swapped the curtains round. Winter curtains gone, washed, put away, summer curtains out. Fly swats at the ready. The big blue fly light is up and on. One of the things that I ordered has finally arrived this week, yay. Can you guess what it is yet? Instructions. I've had one of these before. Um, you can normally find them in commercial kitchens. They are really, really good. Um, they're a little bit expensive. They are worth the money. And the only other thing that can go wrong is they can get stuck in your hair and they can garrot you. But in the wall against flies, this is one of the greatest things I've found. Put it down. Whoa. And here we have it. One awesome metal fly screen. Get through that, you buggers. <laughs> and since I put my husband for the afternoon for jobs, what a great thing to occupy him with. Darling. <laughs> I'm also waging a war on slugs and ants because for some reason they seem to like eating my petunias this year. See what I mean? They're very homely. Holy petunias. Oh, look, look at that. Oh. More help in the war on the flies. Are you a fly? Are you pretending to be a fly? You can't get through. <laughs> On this week's official day out, uh, of which there were two this week, there was an extra treat. <laughs> there was a garden centre visit. It was very productive. Uh, as I have said before, I would like this back walled garden area to be smelly, or as somebody pointed out last time, fragrant. So I'd like it to have colour and I'd like it to have fragrance. The only thing that I'm not keen on, personally, I don't like yellow colours and I don't like orange colours. I don't mind the odd marigold here and there, but predominantly this garden is white, purple, pink and blue. So I will show you my hoard this week from the garden centre of colourful smelly things. Some of these are to just finish off this border along here and then the rest are to start planting in this border. So first off I've got this little bay tree. Um, I also have three of these lovely blue coloured hydrangeas. Um, I've got loads of rosemary and I've got loads of different types of it as well. Lavender, again, uh, one type, two type, three types of lavender. I've got some pink lavender there. We've even got some white lavender over there. Um, I've got a couple more of these eucalyptus plants. This over here, this is really interesting. This is called Australian Mint, which seems as though it's gonna grow really well and it's got hints of purple in it. I've also got two of these Mexican orange blossom bushes. We did have one in the front garden, um, which I did 
did previously ask not to be ripped up, but bad things happen. So I have two new ones. Um, over here, we have this, which I'm not really sure what the translation is into English, but it's purple and it looks very pretty. Um, and over here, we have this lovely white honeysuckle. And last but not least, a white oleander. So there's a good selection of smelly things that are also coloured. Time to get planting. So there's one side planted a little bit more. Well, a little while later and I have got just about everything in here. Um, there's still some more finishing touches to go in, but I'm just holding off on them for now. Um, but I'm pleased everything's in the ground and it can start, start growing. We're having an incredible amount of rain lately. Um, Anyway, without further ado, here is this week's garden update. Hi and welcome to Wine of the Week and this week we're back on the wine Ooh. strangely enough um, <laughs> this is a local wine so it's a Charente wine so it's from the region it's actually from a place called Talmont which is on the uh, the estuary oh. Uh, very near to Royan, the, the mouth of the estuary. Um, I have had it before and Claire saw it in the shop, so we thought we'd have another bottle. Why here not? We are. <laughs> it's got a nice wax seal on the top of it, so it's quite waxy. <laughs> and it's a bronze medal award winning wine, so uh, if you get the opportunity to try some. Ta da! Are you having some Merlot? No. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a good boy? Yeah. Well, what a week that was. <laughs> so yeah, well we've had flora in season all week, so it's been a bit fun trying to keep Merlot and Flora apart. Yes. <laughs> so far I think we are not going to be parents of puppies. <laughs> <laughs> puppies Puppies <laughs> Anyway ah, Cheers oh, Yes, cheers. Cheers, my life. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Well, 
If you've enjoyed this week's episode, please give it a like. And if you've not already subscribed, please consider doing so. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. So uh, well, we've had a, a busy week, um, whacking, whacking, <laughs> and paving. Um, hope to be able to get that patio finished this coming week. It would be quite nice, wouldn't it? Well, let's wait and see what happens. Weather, anyway, weather permitting, I'll just put that in there. Just rain a lot. <laughs> anyway, anyway. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time. Bye bye.